What's going on, everyone? Um, man, we have some crazy, crazy stocks that are moving. Holy crap. Yeah. KRTX. What a monster. That thing is just... It's insane. Um... I took a stab at it today, um, cut it for a loss, and then I mainly focused on uh, SAEX. And I'll uh, break it down on the charts, uh, what I traded today. So let's get into it. So, SAEX. What made what led me to short this one is right here. A strong close, and then a gap down, and then once a gap down, I was expecting the stock to close weak. So that's what my bias was on this. Uh, if you go to the one-year chart, a lot of these when it has a um, gap down it closes weak so that's mainly what i was uh focusing focusing on was that the stock should close weak today so that's uh what led me to short this stock it was gap down and i was predicting first red day it's one of my favorite strategies so i'll uh get my td ameritrade charts up here so right at the get go, um, I got short at 421. That was my first trade, and then I covered at 402. So this was a decent winner, nothing crazy. And then I got short again right here at uh, let's see here 4 416. And then I held this one. Um, right at the get go, we had that first huge candle that went from, let's see what the high was. High of 447 to 388. So, right at this candle, um, I was like, yep, the stock's going to get crushed. It's definitely repeating what it always does so we flushed down and then I added uh, to my position right here at 366 and then I took my covers 318 and 311 so all in all this is a really uh, really good trade pretty pretty low stress and then tomorrow, I'm thinking this thing is going to continue and have another red day. So I plan on shorting this stock again tomorrow. So all in all, this is a really good trade. And then the KRTX, well, I'll pull it up in this one to show you why I shorted this one. Same reason why I took the short on uh, SAEX so we had a gap down but this one pushed a lot higher but I didn't even play to this I'll show you where I got short and why I did what I did so this one I shorted right at the get go at $84 and then Right here was a false break, and then when I seen it making higher support, I ended up covering my position right here at 91. But I took a really small size on this. I only took 25 shares. It looks like I could have probably actually even made a little bit of money. Um, but this one is just too crazy for me. Um, I guess once I... Uh, puts in the stop. I'll probably look to short it again, 
But I guess we'll have to see how high this thing wants to go. So this one was a small, small loss. So all in all, uh, pretty easy day today. Um, but both both trades were uh, gap downs, and I expected a uh, gap down first red day. That was my train of thought on both of these trades. So uh, SAEX. So on SAEX tomorrow, I'm going to be looking... Uh, if this one can't break 296, um, I'm probably going to be shorting it, and then I'll plan on covering around the 240s or the 214s. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what happens. And then, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for today. And then I'll uh, show you my P&L here. So 450.52. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good day. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. And, uh, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and leave, leave me a comment. Tell me what you traded today. And, uh, till tomorrow, traders. Uh.